everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Sanaa from So Crafty Sanaa, and I'm back with my April 30th cash stuffing. So I'm sure you guys caught, <clears throat> I already did my wallet cash stuffing for April 30th. I had stuffed $300 into my cash envelope wallet for my variable spending. Now I'm going to be stuffing what is my sinking funds, the envelopes that I allow to sit and accumulate that aren't meant for everyday spending. These are little savings goals. Um, which are sinking funds. So, um, but before I get started, I had $10 rollover money that I'm going to be putting into, and this was from my April 21st um, weekly variable spending in my cash envelope wallet. I had $10 left over, so that will go into my rollover money. So I'm gonna do that as I start cash stopping. So I'm just gonna move that to the side. I'm going to get my Zippy XL wallet um, where I keep all of my self-care envelopes, which is money for me. Um, and inside I do have my, um, binder I sell on my website, which is an insert the, um, it's called the Gucci print binder, but okay. So self-care is only going to get $15 and that is money just for me, meaning skincare, cosmetics, whatever. It's just self-care money. So it looks like I spent all of my money. I only now have 10, 15, 16, 17. So I have $17 in there. Oh, guys. Um, plus 15, that's 17. I gotta build this envelope back up, but that's what it's for. It saves, it spends. Okay, so I'm gonna give luxury $10. I'm not giving that much to luxury. Um, I do have something in mind, but I don't have something in mind. So I have 100, 121, 41, 61, 80, 200, 220, 230, 235, 36, 37. So I have $237. So I added 10 and that's 237 to my luxury. What's up everyone? Oh my God, your girl's so busy. I cannot keep up. Okay, so planner stuff. Nope, I'm not giving anything to planner. Payback is gonna get $10. You guys, I'm, I'm rethinking if I should continue on with payback, but payback is an envelope where I'm paying myself back money I spent out of my checking account that I did not budget for. I don't have to pay it back, but it's a little goal. I want to see if I can do it. So it was $3,500. I want to pay back and let's see where I'm at now. 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 444, 64, 80, 500, 525, 45, 65, 80, 600, 620, 640, 666, 80, 700, 720, 740, 767, 80, 800, 820, 830, 840, 850, 860, 878, 88, 90, 895. You guys, I am at $895, so that is not bad just by putting a little bit here and there. So, I'm a far cry away from $3,500, but I just want to see if I could do it. So, that is payback and then retirement. No, this is not my only retirement account, but again, little savings goals. Why not save something additional? You guys say, oh, you can invest that money. You could do this. You could do that. I'm already doing that stuff, you guys. So, this is envelope stuffing, and this is what I choose to do. So, this is a $500 placeholder to represent money that's in a bank. So I got 500, 600, 620, 640, 660, 680, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820, 840, 860, 880, 900, 920, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970. So I have $970 in retirement. And I mean, you guys, if I keep stuffing this for the next 20 However many years I have before I'm retired, 20, whatever, 30, what will it be? Okay, so that is it. But my rollover money is in here. So the two fives will go to rollovers. And let's count and see what's in here. Wow. So rollovers is money that I do not spend out of my weekly variable spending, which is my cash envelope wallet. So I lot a certain amount every month, every week for me money, dining out, car, gas, food, household miscellaneous, those envelopes. Whatever I don't spend goes directly to rollover. So from April 21st, I had $10 left over. So let's see what we have now. 50, 70. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 272, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 420, 434, 44, 50, 460, 470, 480, 485, 490, 495, 500, 
5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. $535 is what I now have in rollovers. So you guys, look at money I allotted to spend that I didn't spend. I, I still saved $535. So, I mean, that is not bad. So that's plus 10 and that's 535. I have really been trying to cut back on my spending. And I want to say ever since I started Cash spending over credit card spending, I think I've been spending less. True that. So there we have it. And that is my self-care binder. Okay, so over to my Pru binder. And let's see, I am going to be stuffing $25 in home maintenance. Oh boy, if I could get these done quicker, I would. And that is the goal, but it doesn't happen that way. I arranged my money wrong. But, okay. So, and let's see. In home maintenance, I have the $500 placeholder. So, $500, so $550, $575, $90, $610, $620, $25, $26, $27, $28, $29. $629, so plus $25, and then $629. I do need to do another video where I'm swapping out bills and putting in more placeholders. House cash is going to get 10 so house cash is any purpose, all purpose, no purpose money. I like to keep a goal of 250 in this envelope and I spend it on whatever. Like I said, it's any purpose, all purpose, no purpose. So I have 10, 20, 25. So plus 10 and that is 25. Okay, so that is it for house cash and savings is going to get 20. Um, and so you guys, savings is all the way back here. Okay. Um, someone had asked me, how do I determine how much money to contribute? And it's based on my payday budget worksheet, my income versus expenses, how much I want to put to each envelope. I don't, I'm not a zero based budgeter, so I will leave money in my account because it's, I'm taking it out and putting it back in an account when it gets to a certain amount in the envelope. Number one, it's too much money to have in a house, literally. Like, I'm not going to zero out my income because it's. I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> so $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $3,500 in placeholder money to represent money in a bank. So I have $100, $200, $220, $220, $240, $250, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
but I'll have to revisit that. So 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 262, 70, 280, 285. So plus 50 and 285 in credit. Okay. Not bad. And you guys, I swapped my envelopes out. I am now using these type. They open from the side. It's just easier. Okay, so sell in tech is going to get 25. What is my goal for this envelope? Mm, does it say it on here? Let me see. No, I got to I gotta write my goals down so that I know why and how much I'm saving. But anyway, Cell has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 175, 180, 185, 190. And let me see, what was that? 50. What did I put in cell? Oh, 25. So 25 and that's 190. And this is for cell phone bill, um, Apple Pay, Apple Cares, uh, iClouds. Usually my cell phone bill comes to like 265, but my daughter or my older one of my other daughters pays part of her bill, which is 80. So it leaves me with one something. Okay. So TV is going to get 25 as well. And TV is all of my TV subscription, my um cable internet, things like that. So let's see. I don't have a goal for this, I don't think, but I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. And this is less than 200 a month. So plus 25 and that's 80. Yeah, this is less than 200 a month, so that's not bad. Okay. And then I'm going to put 25 to debt, which is like life insurance payments. Um, What else? YMCA subscription. I just told I named it debt, but it's... I don't know if it's necessarily debt because YMCA should be under subscriptions, to be honest. Um, yeah, I got to look into that. I did have an IRS tax payment, but that was paid. That's been paid off. So that that was under there. What else was under there? Uh, my gosh, I can't think of it. But so 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. 200, 210, 5, 10, 15, 20. So I have 220. Wait, that's wrong. If I put 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230. Okay, that makes sense. So plus... 25 and it makes it 230 in debt and then last but not least i am going to be putting 25 in subscriptions um oh i was wondering i'm like why do i have money left over y'all but i know why and hold up okay so <laughs> yo this envelope is so far off i thought i only needed like $750, but when I total up all my subscription for the years, even though I pay them monthly, it's $2,500. So I have to stop. But the ones that I think I pay annually come up to this amount. So my Ring, Costco, Evernote, PDF Expert, Capital One, You Need a Budget, Prime Membership, Experian Credit Monitor, which I canceled already. So I'm not going to get billed again in 2023, but... I need to take that off here. So I have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, Go figure, right? So I'm a far cry away, but it's May. And I did pay a couple of subscriptions already. That's why the money went down. So, but yeah, this is my bills binder. I am working on getting one month ahead. Alrighty. So now I have, woohoo. You guys want to see what that is. I forgot to get the binder. So although I'm cash spending, although I am still cash spending, I um my I still 